So today we're going to be working on a Marshall 6100 LM 100 watt amplifier. This one is the one of the 5881 models that takes 6L6s. The customer said when he went and got a new tube set that he put it in and flipped it on and the HC fuse blew. Uh, I have a feeling it is probably something simple like maybe a tube wasn't seated correctly or something like that but either way we're going to figure out why the fuse blew, put the new tubes in, and bias it up. Hopefully we'll get lucky and that's all it was. It was just maybe just an improperly inserted tube. And if that's the case, then this video will be nothing more than a how to bias a Marshall 6100. Well, upon opening it up, I immediately noticed that there is a T5A fuse right here that's already blown and let's see what else something that was a little strange uh, there is a 5.6k grid stopper right here between the wire and the tube socket but if you follow these this green wire and this green wire here back you can actually just see the circuit trace right underneath here and here are the grid stoppers right there they're 5.6K already, so, but they're a little charred. There's also two more on the other side, which is R, it's like R32 and R33. Those should be 5.6K as well, and those look fine. So I don't know why these got too hot. We might want to figure that out, maybe replace them. I can't tell. I, don't, I would hope that this is not a factory cap job. I mean, there's just... You probably can't see from that angle, but there's just glue and madness just all over this thing. Not really necessary. And there's nothing really holding this part of the board down. It's just kind of flopping there. There's one other component way, way down here that's been replaced. Looks like like a 15K, uh, like a one watt or two or three watt resistor. They didn't lift the board to make that repair. Not that I blame them because it's just it's a lot of stuff to take loose here I don't know if they were trying to do it on a budget or what yeah there is a lot of stuff going on in this amp before I even do anything I'm I'm gonna leave this one where it is how they just kind of floated that I'm gonna actually recreate that on this side and I'm not gonna pull the board but I am gonna solder a straight piece of wire over these two existing 5 6k resistors so before I put the new tubes in, obviously I've got to replace that fuse. The two fuses on the tube section look okay. All these fuses look okay, they test out okay. There's just too, too much going on here for me to really want to lift the board right now. If we were doing like a complete recap or something like that, it would absolutely be justified to uh, pull the whole circuit board. But I think it's probably more trouble than it's worth. So what we're going to do is I've bent a piece of wire, just kind of like a staple almost. And I'm going to slide it right underneath these two resistors. I'm a big advocate of lifting the board anytime you got to do work like this. But I don't think when you open up this type of amplifier, you're looking at the circuit board thinking it's a work of art. So we're going for function over form on this one. You could essentially do the same thing to the other side, but I don't think it's necessary. Those two, the two on this side, do not look burned. They read okay. 
Like I said, these did read okay, but I don't know if they've been compromised because they've been burned. Let's see if we have a small five amp fuse. I have one five amp fuse. We replaced this fuse right here, and I believe it blew due to an improperly inserted tube. Because I've got the tubes back in and everything's working fine. But we also, down here, those are what we talked about. Those two resistors, I'll zoom in on that. Those looked charred, so we went ahead and just bypassed those all together. I have placed the resistor right on the socket itself. So now we can proceed with biasing. So I've got a probe hooked up to a meter here, and you can see right now we've got about 28 milliamps going through the tube. You can see this secondary meter I have here. We're going to read the plate voltage, which I'm going to touch my lead to pin number three. And we've got about 485. So the, the plate, the tubes we have in there are JJ6L6GCs, which have a maximum plate dissipation of 30 watts. Now divide this by the plate voltage. Now you want, this is like your max idle current. Now you want to be at 70% of max idle current. So we'll multiply this by 0.7 and about 43 milliamps. So our bias should be at 43 milliamps. All right now we've got 28. So we get an insulated screwdriver down in here, stick it in this trim pot, and as we turn it, you'll see the bias start to go up. Turning it just counterclockwise to raise it. I'm only getting 37 milliamps total. So I've been jamming on it for about 30 minutes now and the bias seems pretty consistent right here at 38 milliamps. Let's go ahead and check our plate voltage here again. So we got like 475, so let's try that again. So it should have 44, we've only got 38. Let's try. So right now, we're at about 60% dissipation versus 70%, which is what I usually bias everything at. I don't think that's terrible. And this amp, you're really not trying to drive the output section that hard. So rather than modify it to change the range, uh, I'm not looking at schematics, but I'm thinking it's either going to be this resistor here or maybe this one on the other side of this trim pot. One of those is going to have to be lowered uh, I think maybe even this one here, but I'd have to look at the schematics to know for sure. But for this one, we're going to leave it right here at 38 milliamps. <laughs> I mean, it sounds good so far. I don't see any problems with it. It's, it's really stable. I don't see a real reason to change it at this point. So bias a little cold, but other than that, not bad. I actually, I was actually able to, to bend this out by hand. And then this one that was, this lip that was bent here, I actually was able to use a hammer and kind of tap it back down and then use some pliers to bend this back in place. So it at least is... So it's definitely leaving in much better shape than it arrived in. All right. Thanks for watching. Peace out.